Welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to airbrush this marble texture. However, we're going to use water-based paints. So you can purchase automotive marbleizers. Um, that's a whole other story. I'm just going to show you a simple way to do it using water-based paints. So we're working on an aluminium composite panel. Generally, these are available from your local sign supply shop or hardware store. I'm using my 5mm green fine line tape, the one I'm using is by FBS. And now I'm using my 2 inch masking tape. The exact one that I'm using is by 3M and it's a green scotch masking tape. You can use any sort of automotive masking tape or any high quality masking tape will work. I just like this one for this particular purpose um, because it definitely gives you a nicer sort of protection when you're flooding the surface with paint, which is what we're going to have to do to create this marbleizer effect. Okay, now that we've completed the masking process, we're going to airbrush black as our base colour. And we're going to build up the black, even though we want it solid, we want to build it up lightly. Don't go too heavy. And just a note regarding the prepping of this panel prior to painting. Um, and removing the plastic film, protection film that they have on these composite panels. I gave the panel a light scotch bright and I used just an automotive degreaser to clean the surface before starting to mask up and paint. Okay, so now that we've completed the black and allowed it to dry, we're just going to use some cling wrap, or in America this could be called saran wrap, and we're going to flood the surface with our alternate colour, in this case it's going to be white, and then we're going to wrap on top of that with the cling wrap to create our marble effect. So you need to get this white on extremely wet. Now that is a little bit too dry, so what I've done is I've actually you can see here I'm pulling the needle out so that the airbrush is acting single action and I'm literally flooding that surface, like covering over all of the black. You do not want the white to dry out, you just need to flood the surface. Now I get my cling wrap and I quickly lay that on top. You can try all different effects. And you can see that's you just rub it all over all of the paint. Make sure that you get all the bits and pieces. And while that's still reasonably wet, we're going to remove the cling wrap. So just pick a corner and peel away. And you can start to see the veininess happen. So I'm actually going to re-wrap it. Now that, like I said, this hasn't dried yet, so it gives me a chance to re-wrap it and to further add more veins and more of that marble texture. So you can, you can do this quite easily with water-based paints. And you can see that's looking a lot better now. And now I'm just going to grab the saran wrap or cling wrap and I'm going to start dabbing certain areas of the design where I want more of that texture to come through. And you can see the black veins shining through.
So now that we've allowed for that to dry, I'm going to unmask and remove all of my 2 inch masking tape as well as the fine line tape to expose the completed marbleizer piece. So to all the new viewers that are watching our video, welcome. For our uh, regular viewers, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this video. If this is the first time to the channel, I'd love to have you as part of the community. Feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon that will notify you every time I put out new content. And if you do feel that this would be helpful to others, feel free to share this video out on social and let's build the community together. So I'm just going to carefully remove the fine line tape now, pulling back at a 180 degree angle. But you can still see that I've got a bit of a messy edge. So for this purpose, I'm not going to bother cleaning it up because it looks okay, a little bit grungy. But this is just a sample panel. If you were to do this as an artwork, you could easily fix it with a border. Um, you could mask it up or even continue that grunge um, off the side of the artwork. So I do hope that you enjoyed checking out this video tutorial. Until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon for our next video. Bye for now.